what an attribute-based access control does is it enables us to set controls based on policies and we can enforce that control at different levels. It can be at the transaction level or at the field level. So what we are going to see now is how to enable the policy control at the transaction level. The good thing about this is we can enforce transaction level controls from one place and we can make it work across the different transactions. So it's a one to many level control. To show that, let me go into this transaction here, PA20. And as soon as I go in, you can see that the user is blocked. Similarly, when I go into a transaction VA03, you can see that again, the user is blocked. So both these transactions are blocked at the front door just by enabling transaction level control from the policy. So now I'm going to disable the front door access control for both these transactions by just checking that or unchecking that box here. And now when I go back and run these transactions, you can see that the policy now allows the user to go into the transaction. And similarly, when I go into the second transaction and run it, the user is now able to go in and run that transaction. And to enable transaction level control, all we need to do is check these two boxes and that will enable the control across multiple transactions and we can enforce front door access control immediately. So what we're sharing here is the AppCN 360 analytics dashboard. And here you can see that we have different kinds of dashboard tailored towards different user groups. So when I go into the usage analytics, you can see here that we monitor user behavior and continuously report any user activity and also deviations from normal behavior. So we capture anomalies in these user activity report. And this is tailored towards the security admins and the basis admins within the system. Here, for example, you can see we capture the most often run transactions within the system and where they are most frequently run from and also the access status of these transactions. And we can click these, this pie chart and we can go into the details of whether the user is allowed or denied and see who the user is, what transactions are they running and where they're coming in from. And when I scroll down, you can see that we have a geo map. And so if we see any anomalous activity coming in from regions that we don't recognize, then we can immediately go in and see why that's happening and tweak access based on that. And similarly here, we capture access status by transaction codes and also by user groups. So we can control access at both the transaction levels and by user groups. And here we also capture activity log for all user groups. And also if we need to monitor any elevator privileges such as SAP all, we can monitor those and we can capture all the transactions that are run by the users using that privileges.